Brain tech, yeah? Where tech is made simple. If you are running Windows 11, you may know that over the last couple of weeks, Microsoft has uh, been making the new visually redesigned um, Notepad app for Windows 11 users more widely available as an update from the Microsoft Store. So um, for most on Windows 11, the update will be downloaded automatically from the Microsoft Store. But in case you haven't received the new update to Notepad, um, just go check um, that it isn't waiting to be downloaded in the Microsoft Store. And this is especially for users who have set the uh, Microsoft Store um, to not download apps automatically. So just to do a quick recap in case you are unaware, just some of the key differences here, just to go through these very quickly. And um, this is just in no particular order and the, this is by no means a comprehensive list. Um, as we can see, the app has um, received the modern look and feel of Windows 11 with the fluent design and the rounded corners. And um, we have a gear settings icon in the top right where you can change the theme. And a big one here for a lot of users, including myself, is the new dark mode where you can also use your system setting. And then regarding your fonts, you can change your family of fonts, the style of the fonts and also the size of the fonts. So those are just some of the uh, key differences just to mention those very quickly in case you are unaware. Now, um, although um, the new update does bring a more modern look and feel and a new visual redesign, um, apparently though for some users, um, according to uh, feedback and reports um, uh, um, Microsoft uh, is getting from some users, uh, the app apparently is um, slower than it was prior to uh, the update. So it's a lot slower for some users um, in regards to performance than the original um, Notepad app that has basically been around um, um, more or less since the inception of Windows itself. So um, just to go through these issues very quickly uh, in case you are experiencing any issues um, since updating to the new version of the Notepad app. Um, apparently the vertical scrolling isn't um, feeling very smooth for a lot of users. So if I just paste in some random text here, uh, the vertical scrolling uh, is apparently um, not as smooth as, as it used to be. Now, I must admit, I'm not really experiencing that issue, but that, according to um, feedback, is an issue for some users. And then um, the text processing uh, isn't that quick, and that's in regards to copying and pasting from apps and also text copied from Notepad itself uh, apparently is very slow when it is processed in the copying and uh, paste in um, process so if I just paste uh, the text in again um, I don't see any issues in regards to that when I'm um, copying and pasting text but as I mentioned this is according to reports and um, some user feedback that Microsoft has been getting so if you have been experiencing any of those issues in regards to the vertical scrolling and the copying and pasting then the good news is that Microsoft has um, acknowledged uh, the performance issues um, and they say that this is getting fixed uh, in the next update, which currently is, is under testing. So um, uh, in the next update for the uh, Notepad app, which will be made available hopefully sooner than later through the Microsoft Store, those issues should be addressed um, according to Microsoft if you are experience, experiencing any of those problems. And then also on a side note, um, as I did post uh, last week, the uh, Notepad app um, in the dev channel has also received an update where it now supports native ARM64 and has um, support for native ARM64. So that's uh, possibly a also an update we can expect to see roll out to the stable version of Windows 11 in the near future as well. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.